Ruslan. Joe Rogan recently had a fascinating conversation that tied into things like the fine-tuning of the universe, the meaning of life, humans being unique to Earth, even though we could have not existed. And I really enjoy when these sorts of conversations are had on the Joe Rogan experience. And so I wanted to share this with you guys. This is from his episode with my Chio Aku is an astrophysicist. And I don't know where his faith is, but this specific timestamp is extremely fascinating. So let's check this out. And it's all connected to each other in some way that we're, as human beings, just sort of starting to understand. Well, there is a theory that says that the Big Bang went in a direction compatible to life. Oh, yeah, baby. Right out the gate. The Big Bang went in a direction that is compatible with life. Watch this. And that other universes may not be compatible with life. They may be lifeless collections of electrons and neutrinos, for example. Mm. But our universe is special. Mm. Our universe has stable protons, out of which you could create atoms, out of which you could create DNA, out of which you can create people. You know what this means. This is the fine-tuning of the universe, ladies and gentlemen. That this is not an accident, ladies and gentlemen. People. How many universes have that property? So string theory, for example, gives you other universes which are probably dead universes, mm. universes which have no life. But our universe has stable protons, stable DNA, stable forms of life. So our universe is rare. So this is called the, uh, <clears throat> the anthropic principle, the, uh, the feeling that our life is not random. Our, our universe is special. Our Man, it is so dope to hear an astrophysicist say these things. Our universe is special. It is not random. It is it it, it 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 there's there's a there's a way that any of these little things about the way things are set up, and there would be no humans. There would be no life on Earth. Our universe is special in the sense that it didn't have to have life, mm -hmm. but it does. Yep. And life in a spectacular array of diversity. So our universe really is special. But is it special because we don't know of any other universes? So it, yeah, but the other universes that we played with, mathematically speaking, are not compatible with life. According to an astrophysicist, the other universes we played with, mathematically speaking, are not compatible with life. Oh, this gets good. Mm. Stars, stars burn out too quickly. Uh -huh. uh, galaxies simply fall apart. Uh -huh. uh, protons disintegrate. Uh -huh. It's very hard to create a universe which is stable. So some people think that our universe is special among all the different kinds of universes, that our universe is unique because it's compatible with stable protons and DNA. But it's hard for most people to even grasp the concept of other types of universes or other universes, period, or the fact there may be an infinite number of universes. Well, that's a multiverse. String theory had, probably has an infinite number of possible universes. We are probably the only one that has life in them. Mm. We're not sure about that, of course. But these other universes are collections of dead subatomic particles, a mist, a floating mist of, of dead subatomic particles that don't do anything. If the proton were not stable, <clears throat> then our universe also would be like that. Our mm. universe would disintegrate almost instantly. If the protons were not stable, our universe would disintegrate almost immediately. The fact that our proton is stable is quite remarkable. Do you believe that that's unusual? Unusual. In fact, maybe unique. There are probably very few universes with stable protons. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it because it's all pointing back to good old God, Yahweh Elohim, in the flesh known as Yahshua, Jesus Christ. You see, string theory gives you many, many diverse solutions. So we can actually look at these other alternate universes and we see that they're not compatible with life. And why do you think that <clears throat> if, if the proton is stable here? What would it be about these other universes? Like, what qualities would they possess where they, it wouldn't be stable there? And Everything would decay. Decay down to electrons and neutrinos. Hmm. So it would be a, a gas, a cloud of electrons and neutrinos, which are the lowest state of matter. Uh, you can't get any lower than an electron and neutrino. That's the lowest state. So these universes would basically disintegrate. They would fall apart into a cloud of neutrinos and electrons. Hmm. Our universe has stable protons, out of which you can create elements, out of which you could create DNA, out of which you can create life. That's a miracle. So you notice the language is getting progressively more Christian. It, 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 it's a miracle. He went from like unlikely, we don't to like it like what how things are set here 
is a miracle. That's what the astrophysicist said. I didn't say it. He said it. So it's just because of these calculations that have you done that you've done where it says if the universe had different properties, you would think that this is rare. Very rare. Because there's so many other possibilities That's of how right. the universe could if stars burnt out more quickly, for example, because the nuclear force was stronger, stars would never ignite. Mm. If the nuclear force were weaker, stars would uh, never form to begin with. If gravity were too strong, we would have had a big crunch and we'd all die in a gigantic fireball. If gravity were too weak, we'd all freeze to death because mm -hmm. we would have a big crunch, a, a big freeze. So all the parameters of the universe are tuned just right to allow for life. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this is called the fine tuning of the universe. It's called a fine-tuning in the universe. And if you walk, go back, watch my debate with Destiny on Adam 22's No Jumper. And I did a steel man in that point. I said, tell me what you think is the best argument for God. And Destiny, who's not a Christian, I think he probably identifies as an agnostic, atheist, I don't know, said fine-tuning the universe is a great argument for God. Wow. Now, there's two ways of looking at it. One way that some physicists have proposed is that we are the crowning achievement. We are the only universe that's stable, that has life, that has the diversity that creates life. The other possibility is that there are just lots of dead universes, and we just won the crapshoot. Doesn't... <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's the former. I think, I think this is intentional. I think I think it's a, it's, a, it's a great miracle, as he already stated. Doesn't that possibility jive more with the state of the universe as we understand it? Because we're always looking for these Goldilocks planets, which are very rare, which may inhabit life or may have life on it. But we look at our own solar system, and there's just us. In other words, there could be a Goldilocks zone for universes. Yes, the just Goldilocks like there is for planets. Zone for, for solar systems, of course, is the yeah. Earth is not too far from the sun, not too close. Mm. But we could be in the Goldilocks zone of possible universes. Mm. And that's why we're here today to talk about it. So, But there also could be an infinite number of universes like ours and also an infinite number of universes that are completely incompatible for life. That's right. <sighs> this is what I do for a living. Ah, <laughs> we work I'm, with these. We work in the multiverse. Yeah, no wonder why you don't watch YouTube. <laughs> do you have time for recreation? <laughs> do you do stuff outside of... I love how when the conversation gets a little too close for comfort, Rogan will meander. Anybody that well, listens to Rogan knows it's like, yeah, we go from the multiverse, fine-tuning string theory to like, oh, you have time to watch YouTube? <laughs> Physicists? <more> stuff? <laughs> uh, well, I like to figure skate. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, in the wintertime? Now we're going to go into figure skate. This is amazing. Isn't that interesting? Isn't, isn't that interesting when the conversation went to something where you could, you could kind of sense Rogan's getting uncomfortable, right? And he didn't even say, he didn't even use the word God. Creator. Just the idea of how everything is intentional here and Rogan gets uncomfortable. Isn't that fascinating? He pivots. He meanders into figure skating. He meanders into hobbies. It's interesting, right? I don't know. I, I think God's doing something. I think God's doing something. I think God's been doing something. I think we're seeing all sorts of Christians pop up. Uh, if you guys didn't know, there's a petition going right now to try and get William Lane Craig on joe rogan that would be amazing right if there's anyone that can close rogan on on jesus in the resurrection it's william lane craig right so i i don't know i feel like god's up to something man i feel like god's up to something and uh it's very fascinating to watch very very fascinating to watch and i heard somebody say this i don't know who said this but somebody said something like at the end of every rabbit hole or at the end of every conspiracy is jesus <laughs> it does. and uh if you guys love what we're doing here you want to go the extra mile you want to partner with us keep us independent keep us answering only to you so we never have to take a brand deals and make goofy commercials like these sign up for just five dollars a month our friends at genucell skincare have exciting news to celebrate in 2023 using manscape during my showers after workout has given me much more confidence and that's where mud water comes in true classic has got your pack all thanks to the sponsor of today's video saymine.com established titles is your opportunity to earn the title of laird or lady objective credit approval rates range from 7.99 percent apr to 19.99 percent apr included 0.50 percent auto pay discount if you don't want us to make ads with brands you don't care about sign up for our online community for as little as five dollars a month to keep us independent and ultimately answering to you as our boss you get all sorts of benefits like daily replays of our after party streams exclusive access to our discord community 
and early access to our podcast interviews, all starting for only $5 a month.